Okay, for this quick demonstration, I'm going to do a portrait in acrylics with limited colour. And I'm going to start off with cadmium yellow, a little bit of white, a bit of orange. I'm working on a grey base colour. And I'm just going to block in this side of the guy's face with downward strokes. A little bit more white in on that side so the colour really glows. He's wearing a hat and on the side. And we need to mix up a brownie red colour. So purples, cadmium red, some burnt sienna, and just drag that colour downwards. I'm applying quite a bit of pressure to get the paint out. And when Marie's ready, she'll come in and do a close up. How much are you doing, Marie? Okay. Okay, so I've got the, the general flesh tone, just going to darken it up so we can find where some of the dark shadows are and also where the eye sockets are, something like that and that. Just done in one singular blokes, uh, blocks, blocks, nose, mouth is about there, he's got a bit of a beard. Just a little bit more underwear dark. Dark on this side because we've got strong light on the left. His ear. Okay, gotta stop there. A few little marks. And now I can go in with some strong highlights uh, or stronger highlights. And I'll use something like a soft red. So it's going to be red with white, bit of yellow, and we can just find some of these wrinkles, not too many. Could put a little bit of light blue, just to vary the tints over there, around the eyes. Just trying to apply these marks in one go, just where the mouth is, nice strong highlight. So by now I've got the overall image roughly sketched in. I can think about adding the smaller features to refine everything. So very, very strong dark now. Prussian blue, a bit of brown, and we'll put the eyebrows in. And it's one, two goes. On this side, maybe just one. Drag that down, try to get some idea of a couple of lines with an eyeball done in just one stroke over there. And the same thing for this side, very economical with the kind of marks you're trying to, to utilise. We've got his nose here, so a couple of nostrils. There's some fairly prominent lines which we can use as lovely diagonals leading into the face on that side and on this side. Uh, just a dark top lip, dark under the bottom lip, like so. Just some darks around the beard. And obviously there's a there's a dark separating the background from the light of his face, but we don't want to go as dark there because the light is fairly strong. So just tone the dark down with a bit of orange. We can also think about the side of his hat, the underside, and that's got a bit of tone in. And just where the ear is, maybe touch a touch of red. And again, just running the colour down. Think about the shoulders a little bit with the most minimal of marks over there. And I could think about background, but for this one, I'll just leave it. And we'll simply end with some really strong highlights. Just cleaning the brush. Lots of white 
bit of lemon yellow. Uh, the lemon yellow will just fizz the light up and that way you don't just get a bleached out white. A couple of little marks. So at the end is where you utilize your fine tuning skills. A couple of little highlights as we go. And as they come in, you'll get this lovely crisp edge to them just under the eye, over the eyelid. Again, fairly minimal. There's so much you can leave out because it's so unnecessary. Uh, just because it's in the photo, you don't have to put it in. Even where the eyes are, I'm not necessarily too keen on highlighting all of it. So a little bit of light just here and there where the wrinkles are. Just on that side, down there. And in a matter of minutes, really, you've got something that vaguely looks like the picture you're trying to paint. And this is really to illustrate how economical a portrait can be um, without really doing too much work. And if you did want to pursue it further, you could spend um, a few more valuable minutes just highlighting, bringing out some detail. Um, but pretty much that's it for an incredibly economical trait.